can you hear Peter telling me how to drive my car? <laughs> Interesting bird. Doesn't stand still for one one moment. We are now in uh, Pet Barn uh, looking for a parrot stand or, um, or a play, parrot play centre. I came across this humongous one for $399. Not a chance. Coming up. Now Coming we've up. moved on to uh, Bunnings. <laughs> Here I'm looking for a uh, door stoppers um, and a um, picky, picky up type thing. You know, you pick up stuff with a off the ground without having to bend over and uh, you know, everyone seems to really accept Peter. Um, usually don't get much harassment in here or, or in interference. People look at this, give us a big smile and a big grin and I think, oh look, a rainbow. How nice is that? And that's about it. Apparently uh, it's not uncommon to find people taking their animals to Bunnings uh, to do their shopping. In fact, I was informed the other day there's someone here in Townsend that's getting around with not only a, um, uh, a macaw on their shoulders, but also a um, uh, uh, Indian rig neck, um, also on the same shoulder. Um, I haven't come across them yet, but I have come across an, an old fellow that's got an African grey, um, who's pretty well kept, and, but you can't get him near the African grey, he's um, pretty protective. For those who are interested, um, Peter does come with a uh, certificate. Um, it's been issued to me, um, certificating that he is uh, a, a personal companion and can go in public. And uh, I carried a letter with me in my back pocket that uh, I think I've only used it once, but no one seems to come anywhere near me in shopping centres or even Bunnings or whatever. Um, people just look at me, big smile, oh, look, uh, rainbow, huh? what's that? And that's about it. He enjoys his outing, so that's all that matters. This young Bunnings uh, uh, checkout chick was dying to have some interaction with Peter, like pick him up and stroke him and stand on her shoulder, but he was just not interested one little bit. 